Okay, so let's talk about the syllabus first. So let's open the syllabus on Canvas. Uh, it's a PDF document. Uh, so uh, my virtual office uh, will be hosted on WebEx. Uh, so you have to install the WebEx tool on your computer first. And there are videos that uh, introduce how to use WebEx that is on Wicoin module. And once you have installed WebEx, you can just click this URL. And that will start WebEx. And then we can talk during my uh, virtual office hours. Uh, so if you have questions that are not answered on Slack, so you're welcome to my uh, virtual office. So my office hours for the virtual office will be from Monday to Friday. That will start from uh, August 24th. So between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. OK, um, I'm going to leave the others for you to read. Uh, we do have one uh, textbook. Uh, so that is free online. So if you open this URL and you can open that one, uh, so that is our textbook. It's a, it's a very great one uh, for the beginners. Uh, and also, I will post announcement on Canvas and also on Slack. So please make sure you join the Slack and also please make sure that you subscribe the announcement on Canvas. So just in case I need to uh, connect with you um for something that's important and you will get noticed notified uh, so yeah, here are some other two websites so this is my github so where you can find some python codes that uh, are related to grs i also have a youtube channel so where you can find out some a lot of tutorials especially for grs like for arcgs pro and also for arcmap um uh, even you if you are working from home so i highly recommend use onedrive so each of gmu students have one tagbyte onedrive storage so that is a great place that you can store your data uh, for the lab for the lectures etc so i highly recommend using onedrive to store your uh, lab data um for my office hours, so Slack will be the, the top choice that we have questions. So uh, Slack, Slack will be our major um, tool that we keep connected. And there is also one video that uh, during the week one module that you can introduce how to use Slack. Um, as I said, if you have question, questions that are not answered on Slack, you're welcome to use WebEx. However, if you have private issues like your grades, attendance, or health issues, uh, please send me email. So use your GMU email. Um, so there are four components for this online class. So online participants, online lectures. Uh, we are also going to finish a class project uh, in, at the end of this semester. We also have weekly labs. So for the online participants, so mainly that you have to finish some uh, thing that on Slack, so that just keep make sure that we are communicated, we are connected. Uh, so those are will be some assignments that I posted uh, for each week. So you have make sure that you like for example you have to post your self introduction in your first week on Slack. So those are something like that. Uh, online lectures. So uh, there will be several. Uh, video uh, lectures uh, each week and in those videos there are embedded questions so you have to watch the video and you have to answer the questions that from those videos um, those questions are very simple and you can uh, retry those questions multiple times I just want to make sure that you 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 know that what I'm talking during the lectures and uh, you have to answer all the questions successfully and then you can continue with other videos or with other items of that module we also have weekly labs so that you need to finish the lab and also you need to submit your report on canvas uh, those online participants lectures and also labs do have a deadline so make sure that you submit and finish everything before the deadline uh, 
at the end of this class, um, we will have a final project. So that is, I will give you a topic and you are going to spend two weeks that will be working on your final project. And then you will present your final project finally. Um, make sure that if you submit your labs or you, you finish the assignment later, so you will, after the deadline, you will receive 5% penalty and no late submission will be accepted in the final exam week. Uh, you can submit, resubmit any times of your labs or assignments before the deadline. However, if you submitted your labs or your assignments after the deadline, you will receive the late penalty. Uh, you do have one chance to resubmit uh, your assignments or lab after the deadline. But those are the conditions that you have just one chance. And also the grade of your previous submission is less than 70. And you will receive a late penalty. Um, please keep in mind that late submission for the final project will not be accepted. So make sure you submit your uh, assignments for your final project on time. OK, uh, so this is the schedule of our uh, of this semester. So first week, uh, just get familiar with uh, the tools, uh, uh, get familiar with Slack, WebEx, and also make sure that you, you can log into AppStream. And there is also another video that talking about AppStream during the week one module. So make sure you check it out and also see how you can log into AppStream where you will be able to access ArcGIS Pro. So you don't need to install ArcGIS Pro on your own computer because if you're using Mac, you cannot install uh, ArcGIS Pro. So we are going to use Mac stream, um, AppStream on AWS. That is a browser-based uh, virtual lab environment. So log into AppStream with any browser with the account and see if you can open uh, ArcGIS Pro following that video. And then we'll spend four weeks that we'll get familiar with different spatial data. Like uh, week two, we'll have we'll introduce that how to create um, a project in ArcGIS Pro. And then in the next three weeks, we'll talk about satellite images and also air photos. And also we will uh, see how to, uh, how the GPS data look like. Uh, so now we all use GPS. Um, and also how the LIDAR, LIDAR data look like. Uh, during those four weeks, so you should finish those uh, readings. So those very short readings. Um, is, again, again, it's a very nice uh, textbook. So I really like that one. And then we'll spend another four weeks that we are talking about like how to analyze data and also how to visualize data. So we'll talk about data editing and management, geocoding, uh, ArcGIS Pro now has very great data visualization functions. And also we'll talk about vector data analysis and Rust data analysis. OK, so I would think that this, those four weeks will be the most important part of this class. Um, and then we'll spend another four weeks that we'll talk about how to create a map. Uh, I'm sure that you will learn how to create maps in the later on in, the, um, in another class. Uh, uh, but in this class, we just talk about the basics, like uh, how to design the map. And we also talk a little bit about the geoprocessing model so that how you can automate your analysis um, and also online visualization. So um, like how we can create an online app and also online maps. Uh, we don't have class or the virtual office in week 14. So because that is a Thanksgiving break. Um, OK, so week 14 and 16, uh, you will be working on your final project. Um, so we don't have class. And week 17 will be our final exam week. Uh, so we don't have an actual real exam, but instead you are going to present your final project and you're going to share that one with other classmates. OK, so that is the syllabus.